Heat gets a 4K release date. Aero Video announces their new August slate. And you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman's man. Saturday Night Fever is rumored for 4K in 2022. All this and more in the latest physical media report. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to this week's edition of the Physical Media Report, episode 58. I am Ken with Mid-Level Media, and I am here to break down all of the latest and greatest in the world of physical media, the new announcements, the rumors, what is coming out this week, deals. We cover it all every single Monday here on this show, and I definitely appreciate all of you guys joining me here today. But before we get started, I want to ask that if you are not yet a subscriber of the Mid-Level Media channel, hit that subscribe button. I do all kinds of great, amazing content on this channel, mostly centered around the world of physical media. New Blu-ray and 4K reviews, weekly Blu-ray hunts and stories showing off all the new releases. This show right here, every single Monday, I also do additional vlog videos, all kinds of physical media content on this channel that I would definitely love for you to come check out on a regular basis. And also be sure to hit that like button, guys, to show support to this video and also Comment down below, what are you excited about in the world of physical media? What are you picking up this week? What are you going to be picking up in the coming months? Leave all of that in that comment section below, and I would definitely, definitely appreciate it. But let's get into it, guys, because we've got so much to cover here today on this show. We've got uh, some really cool rumors. We've got some awesome announcements. There is so much coming out this week. It's not even funny. You thought last week was bad. Wait until you hear the lineup for this week, but let's get into it with the rumors, guys, because the first rumor that I'm going to go over is a film starring John Travolta, one of the movies that made him a star in the 70s, and that is Saturday Night Fever. Of course, the other one is Grease, but Saturday Night Fever is a, a disco movie with a heavy uh, BG soundtrack that I have never seen before, so I can't speak too much to the film. Uh, but it's apparently getting a 4K release in 2022 from Paramount. This, of course, is coming from the Rumor Master on Instagram, Geek Gab. I will leave his information in the description below if you want to follow him on Instagram. So I'm definitely excited to potentially get this and watch this movie for the first time. This is a movie that I remember my dad really liking, and I just remember it, it being in the cultural zeitgeist when I was growing up, but it's one that I've never checked out before. I, I was always a big Grease fan, but I just never got into the disco Saturday Night Fever craze. So, uh, But definitely interested to check this one out, maybe in 2022. So let's get into the next one, guys, and this is a John claude Van Damme film, maybe one of his more popular action films, and that is Hard Target is apparently getting a 4K release this year in 2021 from Kino Lorber. So Kino Lorber continues their very impressive streak of 4Ks. Of course, we just got Spaceballs, which I reviewed a couple weeks ago. We've gotten The Good, The Bad, The Ugly. We've got the Mad Max movie. So Kino Lorber is, is killing it in the 4K realm, so they're going to continue to do so maybe possibly this year with Hard Target, the John claude Van Damme film on 4K. So definitely maybe look forward to that one. Again, these are rumors, not official yet. So when they're official, I'll make sure to cover that. But uh, yeah, Hard Target on 4K this year. Get excited. Amadeus on 4K, which is a Best Picture winner from 1984, will possibly be coming out in 2022 from Warner Brothers. So this is a classic. This is a one of, regarded as one of the best movies of all time. And I watched it uh, a couple of years ago for the first time, probably since high school. I remember watching it in music class when I was in high school. It is a great film. It definitely holds up. And I think there are some really impressive visuals in this movie that could lend itself very well to a 4K format. So I'm definitely excited for the potential release of this one. And next up, guys, we have a Kurosawa film. Ran will potentially be coming to 4K on July 13th of this year from Studio Canal. So again, we have an actual date for this, but it's not confirmed yet. Studio Canal, of course, doing some really good work in the 4K realm as well. I know they've done uh, releases for Total Recall in 4K that came out. They're going to be doing Basic Instinct when it comes out as well. So definitely exciting to see them continue their 4K streak with the Kurosawa film, one of his more popular ones. So Kurosawa is one that I haven't dove into just yet. I do have Seven Samurai sitting on my shelf back there ready to be watched, but I haven't got into it yet. Definitely excited to see some more Kurosawa get the physical media treatment. All right, guys, let's get into these announcements because we've got a lot of announcements and these ones are official. They are coming out. Transformers the movie 
4K and Steelbook is supposedly coming out from Shout Factory. So this was just announced over the weekend. Not the not the live action one with Shia LaBeouf, but the cartoon from the 80s is getting the 4K treatment from Shout Factory. So growing up, I was never a huge Transformers fan, but this is definitely cool uh, for those that are. And I know a lot of people that are big Transformers fans. Heat on 4K. I've been getting this question come up a lot in the comment section, especially because Heat and Speed were announced to come out on 4K back in January, I believe, or February sometime in there at the same time. And it was it was uh, presumed that they would come out together. Speed, of course, got a release date, came out, and everybody is asking, where is Heat? What's happening with Heat? Heat is coming out on August the 31st from Disney. So it has a release date. It is set in stone. That is the date that we can all anticipate seeing Heat. So I watched Heat for the first time last year. Blew my mind. It's such a freaking stunning movie. And I cannot wait uh, to see that street shootout in 4K because it's going to be spectacular. But yeah, definitely, definitely probably my favorite Michael Mann film. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited to see Heat in 4K this August. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. So another one that was kind of interesting is Dr. Strangelove is getting a standalone 4K release from Sony on July the 6th. Now what's interesting about this is of course we got that Columbia Classics uh, collection last summer. I think about June I think is when that came out. Um, which had Dr. Strangelove. It had a league of their own. Jerry Maguire. Gandhi, among others, Lawrence of Arabia. So what this, why this is interesting to me is are all of these going to be getting standalone releases now or is it just Dr. Strange Loves Good? Because I, I certainly hope that they do because I know a lot of people that didn't pick up that Columbia Classic set uh, because they didn't want to pay the money for all of them, but did want some of those standalone releases. So that will definitely be cool uh, for those if they do all start to get standalone releases. But yeah, Dr. Strangelove coming to 4K. I have watched the movie in 4K. It was a really good transfer, and it was a really good movie. I enjoyed the movie. as a first-time watch uh, for a Kubrick film. And yeah, so it definitely recommend it if it comes out standalone in 4K that you do pick that one up because I thought it was a really Really solid release and transfer for that one. So almost famous, guys. We got a Steelbook, a 4K Steelbook announcement, I think, last week. It is also getting the Paramount Presents treatment. It is going to be getting a Blu-ray on July the 13th with the little Paramount Presents slipcover and the pull-apart uh, poster on the cover. So definitely get excited about that. I know I am. If it comes down to it, the, between the 4K Steelbook and the Blu-ray, I'm gonna get the Blu-ray for this one because I like collecting for that Paramount Presents line. So moving on guys, we have the Criterion August slate to go over. We have Beasts of No Nation, which was a Netflix film that came out in I think 2016. It was one of the first Netflix films that really started to uh, show people that were, they were gonna start doing more prestige uh, movies on that uh, streaming service. So uh, Beast of No Nation will be coming out with the Criterion Collection on August 31st. Ashes and Diamonds comes out on August the 24th. Afterlife comes out on August the 10th. An original cast album company uh, comes out on August the 10th. So that is four titles coming for Criterion in August with the most notable one being Beast of No Nation. So moving on, we've got the SpongeBob three movie collection coming from Paramount on July 13th. So this includes the original SpongeBob uh, cartoon and then the two live action films from this SpongeBob universe. So they, if you're a SpongeBob fan, that comes out on July the 13th. Get excited. We also have some DC announcements, a new DC animated film. This is Batman The Long Halloween Part Two. We have already announced the uh, part one, but part two will be coming out on August the 10th from Warner Brothers. We also have The Walking Dead World Beyond, which is a new Walking Dead spinoff series. Uh, this is season one that comes out from RLJE on June the 15th. And we have a Hell Knight 4K transfer Blu-ray coming out from 101 Films on July the 5th. Of course, Hell Knight already has a Scream Factory release, but this is a different release with a 4K transfer um, downscaled to Blu-ray. So I imagine the picture quality on this one is gonna be a little bit cleaner, but it's also going to be a region locked uh, Blu-ray as well because it's coming out for 101 Films, so you'll need the region free player um, to be able to watch this one. So let's get into the deals, guys, because you know here at the Mid-Level Media Channel, we want to save you guys a buck. We know times are tough. You can't go out every single week and spend three to $400 on all of these new physical media releases. So we know that you have to wait. You got to pick your spots. And I am here to help you this week, pointing out those deals to you. So we don't have a ton of really great deals this week, but there are some notable ones that I'm going to cover here real fast. 
we have Tenet on Blu-ray for $12.60. The Town That Dreaded Sundown Screen Factory release is $12.60 right now. This one I actually thought about picking up because it, it it's one that I've always been wanting to see um, and yeah, I need to, need to check it out. So accepted on Blu-ray is $6.99. I reviewed this one earlier this year on my Instagram. That's a quality release from Mill Creek. Um, and it's one of my favorite comedies from 2006. So definitely recommend that one. That is $6.99. Lord of the Rings 4K $77.97. I'm still waiting till it gets to 70 till I pull the trigger on that one, but we'll keep watch of that set as it potentially goes down in price. But yeah, $77.97 for the Lord of the Rings 4K set right now. We also have Hobbit 4K set for $73.43. The Craft, the remake uh, for $11.99 on Blu-ray. From what I hear, I don't know if $11.99 is worth it for that movie. That seems more like a $5 pickup to me, but um, if you, it's certainly better than picking it up for 20 bucks. I know that. Uh, Solid Metal Nightmares, which is an Arrow box set that's usually about 100 bucks is now $72.99. We also have Top Gun 4K Steelbook for $17.99. Not a bad price for a steelbook. Moon 4K, which is the sci-fi film starring Sam Rockwell, which is a movie that I'm thinking about maybe picking up as well because I've never seen the movie. I've heard great things. So for the 4K for $18.30, that's a really great price for that. It Chapter 1 Blu-ray is $6.40. And we have New Mutants on Blu-ray for $15.99, which again, that's more like a Dollar Tree pickup for me. That movie is awful. But yeah, $15.99, again, better than 20 bucks. So take that uh, deal for what you will. So let's go ahead and get into what is new this week, guys, because as I alluded to, there is so much coming out this week. It is not even funny. And we are going to kick things off with an Audrey Hepburn film in 4K, and that is My Fair Lady on 4K from Universal for $19.99. So not a bad price for that 4K release at all. It's not getting a steelbook or any kind of special editions or anything, um, but I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to picking that one up. I hope I find it at Best Buy tomorrow. If not, I'll probably end up ordering it off of Amazon or, or something, but I, I think that we'll probably see that one in stores tomorrow. But yeah, super excited for that one because it's a classic film, and I do want to go back and check out more of Miss Hepburn's filmography because I haven't seen a lot of the big ones. So Chaos Walking is getting a release tomorrow as well from Lionsgate. It's getting a 4K for $24.96. It's getting a Blu-ray for $19.99, and it's getting a 4K steelbook for $29.99. Again, I said that Lionsgate is super underrated on their slipcover artwork on their steelbooks because they just did the Saul release and all those releases were awesome. Again, these are some really cool designs on this release. I haven't heard great things about this movie, of course, starring Tom Holland, Daisy Ridley, Spider-Man and Ray from Star Wars themselves. Uh, haven't heard great things about the movie, but the, the designs on all the slipcovers and the steelbooks look fantastic for this release. So don't think I'll be picking it up, but maybe I'll be renting it and checking it out at some point. The final countdown guys which i have a review up for already on my channel which you can go back and check out that is coming out from blue underground on 4k tomorrow and this release is a little steep i had a little bit of trouble in my review recommending this one because the price is so high it's 47.99 for this release i can't say that it is worth that price tag but what i can say is that this is an excellent transfer, an excellent release from Blue Underground. I think that Blue Underground is doing the best work in 4K restoration today um, as far as the boutique label. So I can't fully recommend based on that price tag. It's very steep. But what I can say is maybe wait till it comes down in price a little bit or check out Deep Discount because I know they had some deals for 35 bucks and maybe you can get it there. But yeah, Really, really enjoyed this release. Go check out my review for my full thoughts. We also had the Django on 4K, not the new Quentin Tarantino to Django with Jamie Foxx, but the classic Western, um, which I have right here, and hopefully we'll have a review out for this week. But yeah, the classic Western, and it also has two, another movie in this set, the Texas Adios, which I don't know anything about either one of these movies. I don't know if they connect or what. Um, it's all about, but this is a fantastic box set. I have a full unboxing for it in a video I did last week, an Arrow Collection update, so you can check that out as well if you want to see all the contents inside. But this is a $42.99 set. It's also getting a Blu-ray version as well. So this has got like a big booklet in it, a poster, all that stuff. Go check out my unboxing if you want to see the contents. But Super 8 on 4K is also coming out this week as well from Paramount. I know that's one that a lot of people are getting excited about. 
J.J. Abrams film from 2011. This is on 4K for $19.99, so not a bad price for that 4K release. It's also getting a steel book, which is anywhere. It's available on Amazon, Target maybe. Um, Best Buy for $27.99. So yeah, this is a cool looking release. I remember seeing Super 8 a long time ago. I remember thinking it was just okay. So I don't know if this is one I'm gonna jump on. I had the Blu-ray back there. I haven't even watched it since I bought it. So this might be one for me where I wait for the sale and wait till it's like, I don't know, 15 bucks or something until I jump on this uh, this uh, 4K release. But yeah, not something I'm super excited about, but I know a lot of people are fans of this film. So, um, and that comes out tomorrow. Definitely one of the, the more notable releases of the week. The Birds is getting a standalone 4K. Of course, it already has a 4K with that Alfred Hitchcock box set that I got last year. Um, that is coming out from Universal. It's getting a 4K slipcover release for $19.99. It's also getting a steel book that'll be available anywhere for $22.99. Psycho on 4K, also again, getting a standalone release. It's a part of that Alfred Hitchcock uh, set. It also got a standalone steelbook last year as well, but it's getting a slipcover 4K release for $19.99. It is also getting a steelbook, another steelbook for $22.99. This is one that I might double dip on because I love Psycho and I kind of just want um, Psycho standalone with the 4K slipcover or a steelbook. It just depends on which one I like better when I'm there in person, but I might double dip on this tomorrow. 12 Monkeys, guys, steelbook is coming from Arrow for $27.99. I've seen this steelbook in person. It looks really nice. Um, but again, I already have the, the arrow set of 12 monkeys, so I don't feel like I need to double dip on that steel book. It's not nice enough, but if you don't own it at all, it is a nice steel book and maybe check it out for $27.99. The Euro Crip of Christopher Lee collection, six movies in this set is on Blu-ray from Severin for $119.99. That is a very steep price from six old movies starring Christopher Lee, but that's Severin for you. I, I don't know what to say, but it, to me, that seems it's really cool artwork on there. Of course, I love Christopher Lee, but for six movies for 120 bucks on Blu-ray, seems way out of control for my price range. But let me know in the comment section below if you'll be picking that one up. Nightmare Alley on Blu-ray from Criterion Guys for $27.99. We also have three Shout Factor releases tomorrow. Explorers for $22.99. City Slickers 2 for $19.99 and The Hand for $24.99. We also have Smile coming out from Fun City Animations for $23.49. We have Supernatural Season 15, which is the last season for $34.96. And then we have a Supernatural The Complete Series 15 Season Collection on Blu-ray from Warner Brothers for $289.99. Very steep price, but that is 15 seasons of television right there. We also had the Outpost 4K guys from Scream Media for $19.99. Paramount new catalog Blu-rays guys. Paramount is unleashing their vault tomorrow to release, I think, 10 Blu-rays in total. I'm gonna go over a few of the highlights right here. A Night at the Roxbury, guys, which I love that movie so much. It's one of my favorite comedies uh, from the 90s. Uh, let me do my headbang right here. For $12.99, The Saint is coming out for $12.99. The Last Castle for $14.99. The Tuxedo for $12.99. The Legend of Bagger Vance for $12.99. Get Rich or Die Trying from $12.99, and two classic horror films, Don't Look Now for $14.99, and Rosemary's Baby for $14.99. God, I would, what I wouldn't do for a Rosemary's Baby 4K. I'm, I'm still waiting on that, but we got another Blu-ray release. Of course, I already have the criterion of both Don't Look Now and Rosemary's Baby, so I don't think I'll be picking those up for the regular Blu-rays, but... The uh, Rosemary's Baby definitely needs a 4K sometime in the near future. We also have a, a Arnold Schwarzenegger Target Steelbook collection with both Total Recall and T2 uh, Blu-ray versions of those for $29.99. That is a very nice steelbook, uh, but again, don't know if I'm going to be double dipping, especially since I have both of these on 4K um, and to go back and get them on Blu-ray just for a steelbook. I don't think I'll be doing that, but who knows if I'm in stores. Steelbook looks really nice. I might grab it. But yeah, hopefully we get to uh, catch a glimpse of this in Target tomorrow. We also have Deliver Us from Evil on Blu-ray from Wellgo USA for $17.99. Eye of the Tiger Blu-ray from Scorpion for $19.99. We have two Warner Archives tomorrow. The Tender Trap uh, coming out for $17.99. And Athena coming out for $17.99. And we have one Kino Lorber title, The Night of the Following Day with Marlon Brando coming out for $17.99, guys. So with that, we are done with everything that's coming out this week. Like I said, guys, so much is coming out this week. Get your wallets ready. Everybody's gonna be bankrupt after the month of May. It is completely insane and crazy, but 
I'm excited for because this is what I do. This is what I live for. I cover physical media on this channel. And finally, after all these months, we have physical media coming out. So uh, before I get out of here, guys, I want to take the opportunity to promote something pretty cool that I got going on next week on June the 1st. I will have a full panel and discussion of all of the May releases that came out this month. We will be it will be myself and five other guests on a live stream. We're going to be discussing in depth all of these releases that came out in the month of May and just kind of gushing about them, talking about them, the movies, the transfers all the things that went into these releases. And I've got a really cool panel that's going to be joining me. So definitely excited for that. And I would be very excited for you guys to join us live that night as well and talk physical media with us. So with that, guys, we are done with this week's physical media update episode 58. I appreciate everybody joining. Please like, comment down below what you're excited for in the world of physical media. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications for all of those future videos. And we'll see you next time.